Ah, oh, fuck it. Ah, good day of yours, Rob. Um, yeah, it's just bloody slow. It's a pretty tired, worn out old CD drive. I've cleaned it, put it apart, stripped it all apart and cleaned it. I've got to manually eject it because the uh, tray eject motor is a bit weak. It's tired. It ain't got much torque. I did have some spares, but um, yeah, I blew them all up in my bloody experiments, didn't I? Optical drives, all the ones you can't get anymore, so I might have to get a SATA adapter, a SATA converter to run on this uh, board that works on this board to, um, in order to use newer drives. It hasn't a five model, so yeah, ten years of service that drive. I don't know how many people would have used CDs, but maybe earlier on they would have. Earlier on people would have used CDs. And everybody uses flash drives quite cheap, but in the last three or four years, they would have used a USB. Yeah, that's just too slow, that CD drive. It's getting there, though. It's a tired old girl, but gee, I've never come across a CD drive that slow. I keep rebooting the bloody machine and hitting enter. Let's go. Because usually when it says boot from CD, hit enter and it will go straight away. This wasn't doing that. So I just gave up, I let it sit there. It just sat there, boot from CD. Sat there, sat there, sat there, and finally it's gotten to this part. Yeah, it's just a slow, tired old drive, but hopefully it should get the job done. 32 bit only, so I can't put 64 bit operating system on here. 5, 12 mega RAM, I have got some other spare sticks I can chuck in here, DDR RAM sticks. I don't know what this board can support, probably 2 gigabyte max, most likely. Being an embedded board like that, but like a netbook. It's just pretty much like a netbook. That's all it is. It's just a industrialised version of a laptop. That's pretty much what that board actually is. But instead of using a mini RTX style laptop CPU, that's PGA chip and laptop RAM, it's got actual, an actual desktop CPU and RAM. So it's kind of a cross between a, a laptop board and um, full on uh, desktop board. What an odd form factor. I think um, ATMs use a similar board to this, except these are on the front down here. So they really differ these motherboards, but this did come with um, all the driver discs. It came with a num and the keypad driver manual and a um, full set of drivers to run it. So this could run um, this particular PC could be a uh, might have been made for bank ATMs as well, because um, this photo booth one came with the actual the drivers that came with this board had all the um, keypad driver and everything on it, as well as all the touchscreen drivers. That's kind of cool. All Taiwanese made quality. Pretty uh, solidly built. I've got a, um, that HDMI. 9400 GT, whatever it is, they got off the Ace Asus computer. If I tap off one of these um, cords, there's a spare one of these floppy connectors I'm not using. I just use that to run the 12 volts to run the external fan on the GPU. And if this supports that uh, HDMI GPU, perfect. I have a HDMI bloody um, capable graphics card that this should support. Hopefully it will. That'll uh, get this thing real off the. Um, Ready for MAME then. Main, PlayStation, uh, some computer games up to 2005, yeah, that run. That'd be cool. It's 230 watt power supply, so as it is, this should handle it. Anyway, just wait, 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 and hopefully we'll get somewhere tonight. My god, that's slow. It better be done by the this thing finishes downloading. 97% GDAIV. Well, um, V, I mean. But they can start downloading Fallout 4. The twice as big as Grand Theft Auto. It's going to take about another week to download that one. Yeah. It's going to take a full week to download Fallout 4. It's taken half a week so far downloading bloody, um, Grand Theft Auto V, but I haven't had the computer on 24-7 then. So that's why it's taking longer than what it should. Yeah. 
I don't think this thing can spin fast anymore. It's tired, that's why it's so damn slow. Hmm, I have got a spare one, but it's dug up, it's uh, packed away in storage. Yeah, but... Actually, I've got a DVD, RDE DVD drive. I've got a form of that is. I've got, I've got an RDE DVD drive and DVD burner. I find what that is, I'm using that in this. I just use DVDs instead of just CDs. What about that? Oh, there we go, dig it out of storage. Um, I think it's on that server. That Altos server. I might be in that. And I know, I know where it is, yes. I've got it in my arm. Um, that bloody. The surveillance video recorder. That the um, 120GB Seagate came out of. I got that IDE DVD burning in that. That's easy to get to. I just grab that and the yeah, next time I'm over, it, over in my storage, I grab that. Because this drive is bloody slow. Yeah, it's just tired. I don't even think it's been on the CD as fast as it should. I'm surprised it's even reading it good. Yeah. It is just beyond belief. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.